Hello guys, the Fantastic V here with another Roblox video. Today I will be playing Robio Remastered, which is a game where you can experiment on these androids that are able to handle viruses and act like the regular human body. So before you be we begin, you need to know how this works. So let me show you our little friend we'll be testing on right now. We'll be testing on this guy. Oh, he's still here. Yeah, this was my previous subject. Guess he's still handling these viruses like a boss. But yeah, that's our subject. So what we do is we go into the virus block. There's a variety of viruses, but I tend to go to the random virus generator. I like it a little bit risky. You know, like trying new flavors. Alright. And these androids can handle multiple viruses. <coughs> So oh, let's put that one right there, and while it's flowing through his veins, I'll go get another one. So just remember this, each randomized virus is sometimes unique. In the uh, best case scenario, they're always unique. Ooh, exciting, I think it's rebelling. This is becoming exciting, let's see what you've become. Alright, it wants to go after me, that's a good sign that you're making progress, alright? Alright, let's continue this. See where it goes. Oh snap. I think he blew up. Yeah, he did. Oh well. So now I will collect that and I will start a new subject or experiment on a new subject. Kleb. Alright, Kleb. Today um you'll be getting uh wait, you're an android, never mind, uh don't have to pay you anything. You just do what? Whatever I want you to. That's how it works here. So the reason why I became a scientist was to do um pretty cool things, right? Uh, my goal is to become the best scientist, and you can't really do that without having a test subject. Oh no! All right, guess I'll become a new scientist with a new goal in mind. Hello? My name is, um... I don't know, what's a scientist's name? Uh, Steven Einstein. And I am here to become the best scientist of 2019. Alright guys, so this is a vlog. I'm actually experimenting on a droid right now. And I'll show you how this all works. You put a droid right here, and you inject them with a, um... Random virus, forbidden virus, uh, diddly virus, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty random. So, how everything works, you go to the virus block over here, you get yourself a virus, and, uh... Yeah, you, you get what... You, you get what happens here, right? Alright, so, uh, he lost an arm, oh man, might be getting scary. Oh no. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep going though, because, um... I don't want to live in my mom's basement, so I'm, I'm going to keep going. Alright, he lost- oh no, he lost his other arm. Uh, I'll put it right there. There you go, it's, it's even now. Looks nice. Alright guys, I'll put another virus in him. He'll enjoy it. He, he might become a superhuman after this, and maybe I can actually buy a house this time. Oh, oh no, uh, he's after me, let's let him out. I need more money, I don't- I don't care. I have nothing to lose anyways. Alright, better keep going. Alright, I, I gotta- I gotta keep going if I don't want to lose my job. Where did he go? Alright, he disappeared. I guess they always die when they go through the fan. Or- no, 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 through the door. Alright, but anyways, let's get on new test subject. Uh, Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. Just gonna put that in you. Don't worry, it's just a flesh wound, it will heal. Yeah, good boy, Gabriel. Alright, I'll be back. Just stay. Just stay put. You'll be fine. Alright, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what Gabriel's up to. Oh, hey, Gabriel. Here's another one. You'll enjoy it. This one will make you feel a lot better. Alright, well, while Gabriel's having a great time, let's get another one set up. He'll enjoy this one a lot more than the other one. As you can see, he he lost an, lost both his arms, 
as you can see, he's breathing heavily, doing to his excitement. He he's very excited. He's very excited. Yeah. He wants all this. He wants all this in him. He he, he knows it's for a good cause. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if robots know if it's for, for a good cause, but. All right. I'll have to play as a new scientist now. Uh, what will this scientist be? Uh, you no, know, you look like a. You know what? I'll call you Mr. Sherlock. Yeah, you'll be a scientist or something. All right, Mr. Sherlock. Let's see what you have packing in for you. All right, you've been a senior scientist for some time, as seen by your very long rank that no one else can see. Not even you yourself can see how big your rank is. Alrighty, Scott, show us what you can do. Alright, so Scott has injected green serum into, uh, Nicholas. Alright, actually, let me find, uh, let me, let me, let me think of a voice for him. Oh, I know. I uh, know, I don't know voice, I'm just gonna keep doing this voice, because that might sound dumb. Oh! It's already against us! This is great, exciting news. Let's keep going. He's already after us. He wants us dead. That's how you know. It's gonna be really good. Let's see. Oh, it's dead. They always die early on me. Oh well, there's always another one to take its place. Let's keep going. For science. Keep on giving me forbidden viruses. Creating new ones. New diddly viruses, so that way we can use them and cure them. Alright, he's hyperventilating. This one's excited. This one's ecstatic. He's excited. I would breathe heavily if I was part, if I was like a scientific guinea pig. Oh no. He blew up, didn't he? They either blow up or disappear out of nowhere. You never know. You never know. You never know what's up with these. Alright, let's go in. Let me collect my stuff. And here you go, Johan. A fresh dose of, um, blue Kool-Aid. For you. Just for you, Johan. Just for you. Right, actually, let's see what our neighbors are up to. So, this is Rob. He's got one virus, and he's already got very exciting results. Black stains all over him. This one, uh, now this is a monster. This is what you want to see, alright? Something like this. Something uncontrollable. Something like this is alright? He's, he's fancy. He's got red skin. And he's got black stains as well. Man, a lot of them are getting black stains. Some blue warts as well. What will I get? Okay. Another one bites the dust, I guess. Give me something good. I really want something good. Oh, Vectus. Hey, I've never seen you before. You must be new. Hopefully you don't disappoint me. Vectus, you look different, so uh, I assume you'll be an amazing specimen. Let's see what happens. Ooh, you're becoming a banana. You've got the black stains. Oh, nice. This is going well so far. Everyone's got the black stains. That is what I want to see from my patient as well. Oh yes, this is becoming exciting. Alright, he already has uh, cheese puffs in his eyes. Maybe I'll invent some type of new cheese puff brand. Yes, cheese puff brand. That sounds great. I'll invent some new cheese puffs. Wonder what I'll call them. Maybe I'll call them, uh, what, what's your name again? I'll call them Vectisins. Um, Vectus Puff. Yeah, that sounds great. Vectus Puff. Do not underestimate my power of destruction. Human. Okay, this is going great. Yes. Not only does he have cheese puffs for eyes, black stains, but he also wants to go against us. Alright, he's self-aware. This is going great. Good job, here's the reward. Alrighty, good. He's got another gene in him. Alright, he's got some flimsy new fingers now, and uh, he's dead. But you didn't disappoint me. You've helped me discover something new and interesting. 
All right, here on your next up and list, become the best specimen. That is my goal as a scientist, to make the ultimate being something that can surpass human expectation, and maybe induce some new scientific limits that we've never ever seen in the face of humanity, in chemistry, or just the uh, psychology maybe, I don't know. I don't know, just in the world and in, in general, honestly. Alright, a transparent, um, beat producer. Okay, he's gone, he couldn't handle that, he couldn't even handle, like, a virus. Oh well, a new one takes his place and it's... Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. I think that's how you say it. I don't know the H is there. Maybe it's Hanatam. I don't know. But I'll call you Jonathan since you have a J in the beginning and, and it kind of reminds me of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So I'm keeping you, you're a keeper. Oh snap! Oh no, this one has the same grapple ability as the other one. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! We attempt to make a new scientist! Oh boy. Alright, I want one with a beard, alright, I'll call you, um... Leviticus Maximus. Alright, Leviticus, your goal is to, um, create the most deadly virus in the world. You want to create something extremely deadly, whether or not it has great scientific benefit or des destruction. You don't care, you just want to see something. You want to see a monster. That's what you want to see, Leviticus Maximus. That's what you want to see. Alright, and I will grant you that wish, Leviticus Maximus. That is what we shall accomplish, Leviticus Maximus. The ultimate monster. The ultimate disease. A bioweapon, in fact, that we can develop for the government. That is your true meaning for existence, Leviticus, Leviticus Maximus. Oh yes, purple warts. The perfect bioweapon. Alright, get in there. Alright, Leviticus Maximus shows no mercy. He wants to create the ultimate weapon. That is what he shall do. Alright, his skin is turning yellow. Oh no! Alright, all of them have like the grappling hugging gene. But oh well, Leviticus Maximus' desire was his own downfall. He didn't last that long. He was only a scientist for, like, two minutes. That's quite unfortunate. Alright, we've got a new scientist. Um, I'll call... Uh, let me make up a story for him really quick. Alright, so this guy was originally a heart surgeon, but decided to become a scientist because um, they're able to slack off a bit more. And that's why he wanted to become a scientist, since heart surgery is a little bit tiring. Alright, we got Fernand, and this is what the heart surgeon wants to do. He wants to make him a scientist, and just have some fun with himself. He wants to try something new with this new scientist business, or this new scientist gig, or hobby, whatever you want to call it. He doesn't take it that seriously. He just wants to have some fun in the science field. And he also didn't live that long. <laughs> he was also short-lived. My gosh, short-lived scientists are too common in this area. Alright, uh... I guess this is, uh, his son. He... he... He was actually, um... A... A organ donor. Uh, him, his son. He, he became an organ donor, donor, but he wanted his organ back. So he's trying to infuse the androids with viruses so that way they can maybe replicate the same DNA as his kidney is and then he can use that. Alright, I don't know why it's so dark in here. Oh well, I can't really do anything about it. I can't use any other one. Oh well. But anyways, he wants a new kidney since he donated that other one to some random person. Who needed it at least, but still. He wants another kidney. And this is how he's gonna get his kidney. By injecting a 
um, Android with a bunch of viruses till it matches his genetics and he's able to use that kidney on someone else and then it will replicate as a new kidney. Alrighty, new specimen. Something exciting is about to happen, I can tell. Alright, it's already transparent, it's, a, it's levitating, it, it's gigantic, alright? Certainly not a disappointment so far. Alright, come on, get in there. Alright, one in the noggin right there. Alright, so while that's going through his noggin, we'll get another virus while he's unrepaired. And see what he's up to, see if he has anything new. Alright, I think he's starting to genetically look like him. Don't worry, it's alright. Alright, he has red skin now. Come on. Get in there, Lucas. Be the organ donor for, uh, I don't know, what's his name? Maybe, um, Ron Jonathan? Yeah, that's what I'll call him. Ron Jonathan. Ron Jonathan wants a new organ. And this is how he's gonna get it. Oh yes, Ron Jonathan is pleased. Your kidney's starting to look like his. Alright, that, that's the kidney, I think. It will be soon ready for extraction. Very soon. This is becoming exciting. For, um, Ron Jonathan. Ron Jonathan is excited. He wants to keep on going. Alright, he's, he's genetic, the grapple gene, or like, sticky finger fingers. Alright, he's got orange, no, 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 red, um, blisters, I think? I don't know, orange? I, I can't really tell. But whatever. It's still exciting to him. It's generating a new kidney from the youth. And that's all he wants. Another kidney. Why, you may ask? Because why not? Alright, he has the black stains now. Yes, that's right. How much more can he handle? How much more can he handle, uh... Lucas? Let's see how much more he can handle. Alright, I actually might need coffee soon, so I'm gonna get that really quick. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's good to have some fresh black roasted coffee on hand. Oh, it's good to have that in store. Because you never know when you need a cup of coffee. Oh no, he didn't survive. Ron, uh, Jonathan is sad now. He wanted a new kidney. And he couldn't get one. Now he's angry. And just wants to... Do something, uh... I'm not sure what he wants to do yet. Let me think of something. Alright, so Ron Jonathan is so angry that he wants to create a devastating monster. So that way no one has a kidney. Or um, a monster that at least takes one of your kidneys. And then everyone will have one kidney like him. Because uh, he gets made fun of for only having one kidney for some reason. I don't know why, but... He wants everyone to have one kidney like him. So that way they can't make fun of him. So it's creating this monster to take one kidney from all of them. He wants everyone to have just one single kidney. That is his goal as a scientist now. Not to get a new kidney. But to take kidneys. That's right. Jonathan, uh... Wait, no. Ron Jonathan exclaimed. Become the ultimate beast. That shall take all the kidneys from everyone and everything. From every animal and every human possible. Yes, that's right. It is ecstatic to take kidneys. As you can see, it's, it's excited. So it was too excited that it blew up. Ron! Ron Jonathan was so disappointed. But he didn't give up there. He kept going. Until he either, uh, I don't know, got what he wanted or died. He wasn't going either way without getting a result. Alright, Ron Jonathan. Let's follow your dream and see how far it goes. I mean, it's a pretty worthy dream, not gonna lie. If I had one kidney, I'd probably do the same, John Ron Jonathan. Oh yes. Jonathan is pleased. 
Now someone can take all the kidneys. Jonathan is so excited that he doesn't even care if he um, loses his other kidney. Now that his experiment is complete. Oh no, oh no, oh goodness. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't expect it to run so fast. <laughs> so that was the end of Ron Jonathan. And now a new scientist comes into play. Uh, what's your name? We'll call you, um, Stuart Norton. So, Stuart Norton, what's your goal? Um, your goal is to make a friend. Yeah, that is your goal. You want a friend, but you're tired of human companions, and you want someone unique. Someone that looks different. Someone that acts different. Someone just, just different. You want someone new. Someone exciting. Something better. And, uh, your friend is gone now. You want someone who looks different. He looks like a normal person. But guess what? Stuart Norton, you are going to change that. And today, it starts now. Yes, that is right, that is right Stuart Norton. You are excited for this. You've been waiting all day to make a new friend. And you can do it in this lab as a scientist. As a expert scientist. The best scientist, in fact. Scientist no one can compare to. Oh man, that's a big NPC. Or a big android. As you can see, Stuart Norton was happy because his friend was following him. His friend wanted him. He decided to make his friend better since he was not yet complete. He spoke unique dialogue that Stuart Norton has, n has never ever heard from a human before, so he was excited. But there was one problem. It was unstable. He made a new friend, but that was his overall downfall. Oh my gosh, all these scientist stories I'm making up. Oh snap. Alright, so uh, here we have Bob Ross. He came from outside after, um... Well, after becoming an artist, he decided to pursue his passion of art to the next level. He decided to create scientific art. That is what Bob Ross has decided to do. He wanted to create the most spectacular virus art piece with an android. That is what he wants to accomplish now. That is what Bob Ross shall do to Rob. He decided to call him Rob Ross. Because that seems fitting. Or maybe Rob Boss? Nah, Rob Ross is fine. Bob Ross was excited because he created fantastic art with just one virus. So we imagine what he could do with many. He was excited to see what wonderful artwork he would create next. Oh, Bob Ross, what shall you can create next? What shall you create next? Makes it look so simple though. I mean, look how simple he makes this all look. Look how simple Bob Ross makes this all look. When it really isn't that simple, Bob Ross. Why, Bob Ross, why do you have to make everything look so simple? Bob Ross is, is excited. Moving artwork. Moving artwork with uh, a lack of arms. Okay, let me put that in you. Alright, there we go. Now, let's see. We'll see what this will turn into. Maybe it will turn into Bob Ross's happy little accident. Oh yes, a happy little accident indeed. Oh snap. Bob Ross is proud of his artwork. A beautiful spooing artwork that's sprouting into existence as he injects more viruses into it quite literally sprouting into existence. Beautiful, I must say. Bob Ross is proud. This is some wonderful art. That surpasses all Bob Ross's 2D painting artwork. Nothing can compare to this to Bob Ross. Oh yes, Bob Ross, keep going. Create some beautiful artwork. Make a masterpiece. Bob Ross. Bob Ross never actually died. He just um he just became a scientist. 
This is where we've been all along. You've been here all along, creating new artwork. He just hasn't released it yet, mostly because the government confiscates it. Don't know why, they just do that. And the government puts them as dead because they don't want anyone knowing the secret location. Oh yes, this is what Bob Barras has become. Bob Barras is creating beautiful artwork that no man can ever see. But he is delighted even if he is the only one who can see it. The only one who can see his own artwork. Imagine how amazing that would be. So, Bob Ross is so proud of his artwork, he decided to look at it, but little did he know that would be his last little accident. So anyways guys, that was, um, Robio remastered on Roblox. And anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night, depending on where you live, and bye.